Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to our stage window. Bonus on Thursday. Oh my gosh. Hello, Lunar. Hello, Lunar with the first. And hello with the hell girl. Are you know, work today? Why aren't you at work? It's Thursday. It's Thursday. What's going on? Well, I know what's going on here. We are going to be playing some more. Uh, hardcore wow. Hardcore wow. Yes. Um, I am having so much fun. So since I am not working today, we are here again. I, you called in sick. What happened? Are you not over the vid? I know you had some COVIDs recently. Are you not over the vid? Is that what happened? Or are you like different sick this time? Come on, wow, load, hello. Okay. All right. There we go. Um, so after the stream yesterday, I uh, I went and did like like did all my linen for my trade skills and I uh, got War Chief's blessing. So we've got War Chief's blessing now for heading into uh, into the mines to get a cat's eye emerald. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Stomach bug going around school and I got it. Of course, of course. Schools are just freaking petri dishes. My God, I could never. I would be sick twenty four seven if I worked in a school. Twenty four seven. It would never end. Well, I'm sorry you've got a stomach bug. I'm sorry you've got a stomach bug, Lunar. I do hope you feel better. But I'm glad you're hanging out with me today. At least I get to see your stream true. <laughs> but you're usually you're usually here on most weekends, so you know, but this is bonus. This is bonus extra. Level 40 in Rage Fire Chasm. Hmm. I guess people are going in soloing RFC in their 40s and just because that's the second one I've seen of someone dying at level 40. Yeah, bonus content for real. We're going to have so many WoW episodes. So, so many. There's going to be a video on the YouTube channel every single day of the week for like the longest time. So it's going to take forever to go through all of these like bonus WoW episodes. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. It's going to be every every single day of the week for a long time. Okay, we're up here. Yeah. All right, so we just need to get a cat's eye emerald. We do not have the book quest yet because we haven't gone and talked to Winky, so. But that part's scary anyways, so we wouldn't want to do it right now. So yeah, aside from um, having a, a stomach bug, how are you doing, Lunar? Are you having a good day, a good day otherwise? Is it like a nice day off or is it like kind of an annoying day off because of the stomach bug? All right, hopefully it don't take them too long to drop the emerald. Sometimes it does. Sometimes they take forever. Excuse you, how come, how dare, how dare? You're just supposed to attack the blueberry. That's still recharging. Come here. Ah, oh, I knew it was gonna pull the other one. When you come attack me, this is so rude. These silly venture codes, they really are like a problem. I'm gonna get a soul shard from him. Give me your soul, venture co enforcer. I'll add it to my collection. It'll be good. There we go. Um, it's nice since I feel better than last night. Didn't have stomach cramps that I had. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you were really sick yesterday, and you're just recovering today. That's not too bad. So then it's a nice, to, nice to have a little day off. Oh, I didn't loot one. Oh, it's just copper. Okay. <clears throat> so lunar, I don't, um, I don't remember the last time you came to one of the wow streams but just to remind you this is hardcore so if we die we're done <laughs> if we die we're done uh, the game will not let me revive to be able to continue playing the character i have to transfer her to another server that is not hardcore is uh, is basically how that works man he thought he was coming to attack me and last minute changed his mind like no fuck that i'm gonna try to run yeah but you can't run from me who's that oh no someone died here john Allah. no J Jania. That's so sad. We're 
We're playing until we die. What level are we? We're level 19 right now. We're gonna hit 20. We're gonna hit 20. Look, we're really close. This is the experience bar down here. So we are totally gonna hit 20. If these venture codes don't get me, which they won't, because they suck. They suck and I don't suck. And we're not gonna try to go into the mine where it's dangerous. Even though there is a quest in there, which we'll probably do later. We're just trying to get them to drop the emerald right now. Yeah, Ventrico is evil. Remember we encountered them first in Mulgore? Um, they're trying to like basically pillage the land of all of its resources. And uh, we don't like that. Those resources are for us, for the Horde. If they're not going to benefit the Horde, then they should not be destroying the land. Duh. So we have to stop them. Hey, you caught a smear goal. I think the last walk on my stream I stream I caught was with the werewolves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh we're done with that area for a minute. There's still a few more things we can do in that area, but um, most of them don't involve killing werewolves. There is one more like werewolf quest we have to do in that area. Um, but it's like a little high level, so we haven't done it yet. Because we don't want to die. But we'll see. Because I do want to do as many quests as we can. Not like being stupid and dangerous and doing ones that are like, that we shouldn't be doing, you know, that are too risky. But I want to do as many quests as we can, even if it's a little risky. There we go, level 20. I knew I was gonna get that. I thought I was gonna get it at the end of last stream, but then we went to help our new friend in Skull Rock, so we didn't get it. Hello, Apple, hello again, how's it going? Are you having a lovely Thursday? What are you doing today? Oh, there's another one. And this area gets a lot of people. had some lox and bagel this morning for breakfast we decided to like go pick up from somewhere it was really good i love lox and bagel had an everything bagel with the cream cheese and the capers and the lox on top it was so good it was so so good i love lox i feel like it's very polarizing people either think it's the best food ever or they hate it i love it Do I have any, like, buffy scrolls? I have a scroll of stamina. Should probably apply that. Come on. Why is that not applying? Hello? I'm not in combat or anything. I don't know why that's not applying. Haven't been to bed yet, holy crap. <laughs> I work from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Oh. I should have just read the next sentence before being so alarmed. I'm on my second day off ready to get paid so I can go to grocery shopping. Got certified to work on Tuesday. So that's a $3 pay bump. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, I hope you get lots of delicious things from the grocery store. And thank you for coming to hang out with me. I didn't realize you were a third shift sort of person. Third shift is a very interesting life. I could not do it. People doing third shift are strong. You're a strong person being able to do that. Because I definitely could not. Oh, I see one around the corner here. I don't want to go inside that building because it'll pull multiples. I'm pretty sure you cannot single pull out that building. So we are not going to do that. We can single pull these guys. Come here, little Venture Co-Enforcer. I've done that shift for 15 years since right out of high school and I absolutely refuse to go to day shift ever. Oh my god, really? Really? Oh my god. 
Okay, for a brief um for a brief amount of time, Levi did third shift and it did not last. I think he did it for like six months and we both were like, This is garbage, stop it. <laughs> um he was working security at the time and they found out he was willing to do third shift and then basically he didn't do anything but third shift for like six months. And then he, he begged and begged and begged to get like a variety of shifts and only do third shift sometimes. And they kept being like, Yeah, 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 and then they just wouldn't do it. They'd constantly put him on third shift and so like eventually he quit that place, obviously. Um, but like, if you're wired for it, then like, that's amazing. I don't think most people are. So you have special talent, Apple. I know I am not. I am like an early bird and I have to have my sleep. I have to have my sleep like in bed by 9 PM. <laughs> not really. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but honestly not much. Um, and I don't necessarily have to always fall asleep, although usually I will. Like I can stay up like watching TV or reading or something like that, but, um, but like, I gotta be in bed and relaxed, you know, by like 10 p.m. or so, or I'm just crabby as fuck. Yeah, never been good at waking up in the morning. Yeah, I've never been good at staying up late. I'm terrible at it. It's just not a skill that I have. Even as a teenager, when I was the best at it that I, that I ever was in my life, I was still like not very good at it. I love being up at odd hours. That said, I've always been on the weird side, picked up horror movies and rock music from an early age. <laughs> I did overnight shift one time. Did it, did, did you die, Lunar? Because I feel like I would die if I did it like one time. Like, because uh, when I first started working, one of the one of the early, early jobs I had was working at Blockbuster and um, they would be open till midnight. Right. And even that was like really hard. Like I would do stuff that I wasn't supposed to do just so I wouldn't end up staying there past closing time. Like I would vacuum the store <laughs> when there were still customers in there because I was like, fuck that. I am not staying here till 1 a.m. to clean this store. Absolutely the fuck not. So I wouldn't. Um, so that way, like when it was closing time, we would just close and go home. I'm so introverted. So those hours really go hand in hand. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Less people, less people during that time for sure. That makes sense. That's so cool. I didn't know that about you, Apple. We could have like opposite schedules, me and you. And Voidwalker taunt ain't shit. These things like fall off of me or fall off of him all the time. Come and stick on me. I should probably get some kind of like threat meter add-on or something. I don't have one. I probably should get one. So I know when Boy Dwarf is about to drop threat. In case it ever matters. Because it might. You never know. You never fucking know. I'm out of range. Also love that my schedule gives me days off during the week and the weekend. They just alternate each week. Yeah, that's really nice. Sometimes like it's really good to have weekday days off because there's just certain things that you can't do on the weekends. You know, that's just really hard. That's like much easier to do on weekdays. So it's nice every so often to have weekdays off or to like to have flexibility and stuff like that. Like that's basically what I have at, at my job. Like I can if I need to do like a weekday thing. Um, I can just like do it during my lunch break because we work from home quite often or um, I can like make up the hours, right? So I can take like a long lunch break, but then I could like start early that day or stay late that day or something like that to make up the hours. And then it's like, okay. It's about to be fall, which cannot wait because what well, you saw discord, I maybe, yeah, 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 yeah. We love fall. We love fall and Halloween. I love Halloween. Yay. Got the emerald. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to go over to Winky finally. All the way over there, past the sledge fan. Okay, and we'll get raptor heads on the way. Yeah, I love fall. We've already started with our fall festivities. We got the um the new like pumpkin chai from Starbucks. It was so good. Oh my god, it was so good. I wanted to try the apple thing and I was gonna get it the other day, but they were all out of the stuff for it. So I didn't I haven't tried the apple one. And I already started doing like fall color, like brown nail polish and stuff and orange and things. And like the muted fall colors. So it's like, you know, it's the time. It's the fall time. Oh, wait. Should I have? No, 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 no. This is better. This is better. This is better. Go around this way. Ekinyaki. Okay. I love gentle cool crisp morning air. 
<laughs> if only we had that here. It's still hot. <laughs> I won't lie. If I had to wake up early, I don't mind doing it during the fall. As far as like the actual like feelings go, we don't really get fall in the fall. We get that type of air in December here or January. Um, it's still hot all the way until Halloween. And usually it doesn't get any kind of coolness until um, December. It takes a while. It takes a while to cool down here. But I'm in the deep south, so, you know, it hot. We'll have some cool days when, like, a hurricane's coming through. <laughs> That'll cause some cool air, you know. I'm in Arkansas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you know. So you know. It is pretty humid and stuff in Arkansas, too, right? You have a lot of humidity. Because, well, no, you're a little bit more... You're a little bit more inland than I am. So I actually don't know what I'm talking about. You tell me. Yes, but thankfully it broke. <laughs> Every time I think of Arkansas, I think of that, that meme video that's like, why this one, Kansas? Why this one, not our Kansas? Explain. <laughs> why? True. Why it not our Kansas? I agree with that lady. Oh, we can turn this in while we're walking. 83 degrees now is a lot different than 83 degrees a few weeks ago. I know exactly what you mean. That is very true. That is very, very true. 110%. Yes. So the reason why Arkansas is pronounced the way it is, is an Indian, yeah, 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 that came from the French. I know, I know, but it's funny. It's the inconsistency amuses me. But yes, I do know. It has to do with um, the tribes that uh, were native to Arkansas, or I guess are native to Arkansas is uh, better to say. And the French influence. Because they all get a lot of that too, like um, the same as Louisiana. Like that's spread, that's up towards Arkansas as well. It's not just Louisiana, right? I'm originally from Alabama, by the way. And I'm in South Carolina now. So that's my familiarity. All right. We need raptor heads. We'll kill any raptors on the way to Winky. But yeah, English loves to like be French sometimes randomly. Like that's fun for us as a language. Raptors, I know there's some of you around here. I wonder why it didn't have me pick up the, um, this one, this one up here. Cause you go talk to him. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a raptor. Let's get him. Let's get him boys. Arkansas feels like two different states in one. One on one side. If you have run downtown's long been decaying. Yeah. All the stereotypical. Yeah. 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 All you got that all over a lot of the rural areas of the South. Yep, been on the other side, it's all forest, mountains, nature. Yep, and the towns seem nicer, yeah. A lot of the south is like that, very patchy. Very, very patchy. Not consistent. In like the towns and things. South Carolina is much like that too. There's like these little pockets of like very nice civilization. There's like, we have the Francis Marion um, National Forest, you know, some things like that. But a lot of it really is like, you know, rural, nothing, rundown methamphetamine country <laughs> for lack of a better word you know and alabama is the same there's like little pockets of like nice and areas and stuff and then a lot of it is a whole lot of places you wouldn't want to be a whole lot of tiger king yeah yeah a whole lot of tiger king <laughs> basically if you know you know really sucks because there's a lot of good stuff as it pertains to southern culture yeah but it's marred by the fact that some people just not get the hell out of their bigoted and controlling mindsets yeah but like i mean you know because you live here like a lot of people are manipulated into that shit like they don't really feel that way and they wouldn't feel that way if they had not been so like brain poisoned 
um, by like certain people and uh, and uh, and like so easily manipulated. You know, there's like a lot of forces here in regards to like how powerful community churches are and certain things like that um, that keep people in a state of mind and um, and morality that's against their own interests. And like, I think that's most people, you know, and I think that's most people. I don't think like Southerners are uniquely stupid. Like, it's just that the, the forces here are such that we constantly... Um, you know, vote and act and uh, and speak against our own interests. And I just think other areas have not been manipulated as much as we have. Because it's beneficial to the rest of the country that um, that the South stays impoverished. You know, the South here, same as like having the global south and the rest of the world, like it's all interconnected, right? It's just like a microcosm of the whole rest of the world. I agree, indoctrination is a powerful drug, yeah. I do wish that people would spend more time reflecting though. I probably have a bit of bias since I spent most of my life unlearning toxic behaviors inherited in this region, yeah. And I think that once you are somebody that has unlearned it, there's like a period of time, because I know I felt this way too. There's a period of time where you are like so grossed out and you're so like, like it's like baffling to you. like. I could do it. Why can't you? I know you're not stupider than me. Why can't you? Um, and so it's really hard. But, uh, but like, I just think, you know, we're busy and we're overworked and, and it's, it is hard. It is hard. So I try to have like grace and patience. And it, for me, it's easy because I have a very like, good privileged life where I am not directly affected by a lot of these things in a lot of ways. So like, I have an easier time being like, oh, having patience and grace for them and things of that nature. And people that are more directly affected by the various issues or have been more directly affected or traumatized by the various issues, it's it's harder. It's harder to say that. And it's, it's harder to feel that and be okay with it. So, you know. All right, nugget slugs. Ooh, and uh, an ignition time. Okay. Hopefully there will be people there and we can do that. I think a lot of it also could be the fact that challenge changing their notions makes them uncomfortable about perceptions that they have with um, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of groupthink that goes on too. Like, oh, well, I say the bigoted things because everyone around me says the bigoted things and it's just too painful to get rid of my social structure and have to uh, social circle and have to like rebuild my entire social circle, which that's true. Like, that's very painful. Most people cannot do that without like severe mental anguish and wouldn't want to. Like, Again, like they have good lives. Why would they want to ruin them? You know, for things that don't affect them and that is whatever to them in their like personal individual way. It's hard to navigate a line when the same people who love you and only want the best for you are trapped in a certain mindset. Yeah. You don't want to think that your ancestors are anything but good members of the family. And I felt like that for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. True. Very true. Run, mage, run. Run. He made it. I was scared for you, Steady. I was scared for you. But you made it. You're okay. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. But, like, nobody's perfect. And people say, like, oh, these things are common sense or whatever. And it's like, yeah, but people make decisions on a lot more than their own personal sense of, uh, of right and wrong. What drives people to make decisions is way more complicated than that. So people will do things that they know are wrong for like lots and lots of reasons. I want to go to that dark sky park here in the state. They have one over Buffalo River and you can camp on the sandbar and see nice clear sky, no light pollution. Really? I've never heard of that. What? You have like a no light pollution area? I have no idea if we have that sort of thing here, but that would be so cool. I've never really lived anywhere without a lot of light pollution. You know, I've always lived in like a small town or a city area or whatever. So there's always been a decent amount of light pollution. Yes, I'm in South Carolina now. Oh, I don't see anyone here. 
I don't see anyone here. There's usually like people around, around that guy. Okay, well anyway, let's kill towards him. Let's kill towards him and see what's up. Yeah, I'm in South Carolina now. And I'm, and I'm originally from Alabama. So that's like the places that I've lived. But I've been in South Carolina for a really long time. Like I originally, oh, they're steady. Okay, there's somebody sweet. Hopefully they're here for the same thing. Um, but I'm originally, I'm originally from Alabama and, uh, and I came to College of Charleston for my, for my college. And then um, I just never left. <laughs> I never left the, the area, you know what I mean? Um, I just loved it so much. Uh, so, it was so beautiful. They do have some places in your state for sky gazing. Oh, that's so cool. I know there's an observatory kind of outside if you go out um, to the more rural areas. I'm trying to remember what it's called. I don't remember what it's called, but I know they, that that's, that's a thing too. Okay, the quest is up. I see it. But I don't think I can solo it, so maybe I can join with this mage mage guy and we can do it together. I don't want to solo it, that's scary. <gasps> Lunar, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We'll pull a pin for you on the in uh on the break. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I really appreciate it. Thank you for um for giving Apple a sub. Okay, so let's get the key quest. I, could help. I wonder if I should just invite... Oh my gosh, come back, come back. Mr. Mage, Mr. Mage. Hello. Oh, <laughs> they were thinking the same thing. Hello. Hi. Okay, so I don't have to do it alone. I just can't do it alone. the key. Boy, you better not turn in so fast. You better chill. Don't you auto turn in. Yo! Hurry back! Keep it real! <laughs> Glad I could help! Okay. Ready for escort. When you are. <clears throat> I had a lot of good memories playing WoW. Oh my gosh, you should totally play Classic. It has the magic, okay? I swear, it has the magic it used to have. Shoto, are you ready? Yeah, okay. Let's start her up, 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 start her up, up, up. A lot of hours spent on the game, I was never really good at it, but I always enjoyed seeing different locations. Well, you know, that's what's cool about WoW, honestly. It's like the exploration. It's like Azeroth is all there for you, and it's like so big and expansive and so cool. Oh my god. He says, isn't there a quest to kill the guy up there? Bra, you said you were ready for the escort, you were not ready. You know, we're past the quest, we can't share it. Sorry. Sorry. That sucks, Shoto. Extreme diversity. I remember seeing a logging camp and I became lost in the game at that point. Yeah, it's super diverse, super diverse areas. I 
I just absolutely love it. I just, I love the world. I love Azeroth. I love what it's about. Um, and I love how, like, non-serious classic is. Like, it's just, it's so cool. That spell isn't ready yet. Oh, level 40. Oh, don't know what got him either. Come on, finish up. Complete. All right. I can definitely go again with this guy. They didn't do it. Oh, Steady's leaving. Okay. Where does Shoto go? Oh, he's probably picking up bolts. Just come pick up these bolts. I say this as if he can hear me talk. <laughs> I don't have to type to him or something. All right, I'm gonna wait for this guy to respawn. All right, so let's just collect the buckets around here and try to help out this guy so he can do the quest too. My father-in-law got me into the game back when he played. Oh my God, that's too funny. I try to get my dad into MMOs. He never really like grabbed it. Like um, I played EverQuest, Hella, and I played um, Final Fantasy XI and then WoW. And I've played several others, um, but WoW and EverQuest were the two main ones that I played. And when WoW came out, I thought like, oh, you know, he maybe this is one he could finally do, you know, but no, <laughs> uh, no, he was not that into it. Okay, let's do um, free for all so we don't mess up each other's loot. There are buckets up here. I guess we already looted them recently or something. I don't see them. Okay, well now that we're together, we don't need free-for-all loot. Group loot. He played WoW religiously. Wow. He moved on from WoW to Overwatch. <laughs> That's funny. It's not even the same type of game, but they are both Blizzard and then played the hell out of that. I don't know anyone with more hours in those games than him. Holy shit. Yeah, I never got into MOBAs. Like, I tried because they were like the hot hotness for a while. And I was like, yeah, I don't get it. And this isn't fun. <laughs> I tried like I tried League of Legends. I tried Overwatch briefly. I think I've played a total of like three matches in each of those games. And I was like, yeah, nah. <laughs> I thought the buckets were faster spawned than this. Because there's a few bucket spawns right here, but they're just not popping. Come on, I need nugget slugs. When I first met him 14 years ago, he'd been playing pirates. And I think it was after that he moved on to WoW. What is pirates? What is pirates? I don't know anything about that. Come on, where's the buskets? Basket, basket. I guess there's just not a lot of people in the zone right now, and so they're just not spawning very quickly. Basically, it's a survival game. Back, I don't remember how old it was, you 
could fight other players, do pirate stuff or parry your ship. He met his girlfriend on there. Oh my god. So it was kind of like a um like an Ultima online type of game. It sounds like it was a proto MMO. You know, before a pre-WoW MMO, as as you would call it. I was playing EverQuest hardcore, so you know. I didn't know nothing about nothing other than that game, really. But I knew others existed. Like, I knew about RuneScape and I knew about Ultima Online and stuff, but, like, I never played them. Shoto, what are you doing? You have to pick up the quest. <sighs> Shoto, you can get yourself killed. Oh, he got it. Okay. Man, I thought I was going to just get these spawns while he we finished he finished the key quest, but like guess not. Okay, well anyway. Redo on the escort. It's a shorty. And then we'll run around and get more nugget slugs. You know, I, I wonder if it weren't for WoW, if I would actually be with my husband. Because when we met, it was like, just kind of like a hookup sort of thing. But then like, one of the things that we bonded over was the fact that we both played WoW. Now also, I found out he was an amazing cook, <laughs> which is part of what made me come back. But, um, but like, WoW was really what we talked about at first. And, I, and he was like, so shocked that I had played and I liked those kind of games. Oh, no problem, friend. He says, thank you so very much for staying. No problem. I, it's, it's, I'm it's i reaping myself some good karma for later, I hope. <laughs> I want to say maybe 2007 or so was when it came out. I could be wrong. Oh. Well, I was playing WoW upon release. Like, I started playing it in 2004. I want to say it was like fall 2004. Um, cause it was like, I was in college, I'm pretty sure at the time I was like a freshman in college. Then when I started playing. Still recharging. Oh, there's a bucket. My wife and I met 14 years ago. I was about to leave town to get a job in Louisiana on an oil rig. And I found out she liked me. We went on a date and here we are 14 years later. Oh my God, that's so cute. <laughs> and you never made it to the oil rig, right? <laughs> that sounds like a dangerous job on an oil rig, so. Nope, got a job here, yep. Yeah, an oil rig would be hella dangerous. Bye, Shoto, our mage friend. Okay, let's collect. We should. Hopefully, we don't need too many buckets. Some, a lot of times, the buckets do drop like three. So, hopefully, we don't need too much more. Yeah, man, I graduated college in 2008, and um, it was bad. Like, oh my God, the economy was so bad then. And I really thought I was going to have to move back home to Alabama. I was working at Blockbuster at the time. And I thought like, oh, I'm gonna have to move back home. I have to transfer to the Blockbuster at home. And Blockbuster was dying at that point and I knew it was dying. So it was like really, really scary. <laughs> it was like really, really scary. But I ended up finding a job, finally, the entire senior year of college I was searching and I didn't find one until like right after I graduated. And, um, and so then I was good. Then I was good. I need to target something first. But I almost ended up moving back to Alabama. My dad and I just got into a fight at the time. Oh my gosh. Um, over his mother acting very boomerish. <laughs> Remember, we didn't call it that at the time, but I know what you mean. Um, 
So I was looking to make money and get out of the house. Yeah, makes sense. Dude, that I think sucked for me because I couldn't get a job for shit. Yeah, I was trying to get out of movie gallery and get something more stable. Oh my god, me too, except Blockbuster. I remember movie gallery. I remember movie gallery. Did you know movie gallery was started in Alabama? That's where their headquarters was, and that's where um, the first movie gallery was, was in Alabama. I love the perks I got, but hated the customer service aspect. Yeah, that's pretty much how I felt too. Like I, I liked, you know, that they were flexible with the hours. I liked being able to like rent all the movies um, for cheap or free. You know, I, I liked, I liked a lot of it. But the company was dying, and um, and you know, you were forced to sell. Like they had like the loyalty pack or whatever. Like you were supposed to sell so many of them, and like I was good at it, but I hated doing it like so much. I was like, this is this is so annoying. Cause I hate when people do that to me when they try to sell crap to me. So I hated doing it to other people. And, um, and so like, it was bad. But luckily I did not have to continue working at Blockbuster after I graduated. They weren't all bad, most of them were quite nice, but it takes one asshole to ruin someone's day, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind um, working with customers, but I think different customer bases are different. You know what I mean? And I've definitely had customer service jobs where I overall liked the customers and I've definitely had customer service jobs where like, yeah, one like weird, annoying person um, could ruin the day. Like it just, it just depends. All right, is that a bucket? No, that's Chen's empty keg. Bucket, bucket. Bucket. And some real creeps would come in later on because of the softcore porn section. Oh yeah, <gasps> cause movie gallery had that. Blockbuster didn't. They were like, you know, family friendly. Like the highest rating thing that we had was R rating. Um, I've had some awkward interactions with the customers asking me what I recommend. If they could preview movies in portable DVD player, DVD player they'd bought, I just, I left work shaking from some, whoa. Yeah, no, I never had to experience that at Blockbuster because they did not do anything unrated or NC-17. Like, it had to be like G, PG, PG-13, R. You know, if it was NC-17 um, or, or whatever or unrated, they would not have it as part of their collection at all. So I never had to deal with any of that. I did one time, you know, that reminds me, that reminds me of one time um, a customer comes in and it's this old, old, what we would call boomerish, you know, person. And they were asking me movie recommendations. And it was very clear based on what they were asking that like we did not have the same taste. Like I just straight up had not seen many of the movies that they liked. And so I could not like make a recommendation to them. And like I told him like, hey, I just don't, I don't really know like what to recommend. Like, and I was like freaking like um, 17, 18, no, I was 18. Yeah, 18, 19, something like that at the time. And um, yeah, I had to have been like 19. And, uh, and he was like, well, I think employees here should be required to watch every movie in the store. And I remember looking at him with my tiny mind and I said, you think Blockbuster's gonna pay me to watch movies off of my shift? And he just like scoffed at me. <laughs> and like, I did not understand it at the time, but it just like blew my tiny mind that there were people in this world that like had those types of thoughts and opinions. But like, he for real thought that like, unpaid i was supposed to like watch every movie in the store i was like you've got to be fucking kidding me there's no way that you actually think that but no he actually did for real think that also small towns if you have beef with someone or just had a breakup you met their parents holy shit to make for awkward interaction yeah yeah small towns are like that for sure for sure okay uh yeah that's a bucket we need maybe two or three more to get enough nugget slugs for Winky. Can we loot it without aggroing that guy? Yes, we can. So sneaky. Got him. Okay, hopefully just one more bucket will do it.
Yeah, there's a lot that's nice about small towns, but there's also a lot of bullshit, <laughs> like what you're talking about when it comes to small towns. You're going to think I'm bullshitting when I tell you this, but I had a woman in her 40s, maybe 50s, ask me for advice on a movie for her and her husband. Keep in mind, I'm 18, introverted, socially sensitive anxiety. Like, <laughs> I'm a proprietor of it. Oh, no. Boy, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you 100%. Blockbuster, um, even though it wasn't like what you're talking about, like a movie gallery, they didn't have a softcore porn section. So it wasn't quite like that. But I could not tell you how many times I was propositioned at that job from like the most random people about like the most random things. Like it was ridiculous. Ah, uh, he saw me. Go get him, Blueberry. And we still need one more. I remember this one time I was checking out this dude like he comes up to me and I'm like ringing him up or whatever with his checking out his movies and um and he goes he goes hey uh I love your size and shape like just looking at me dead in the eye like that and I was like uh <laughs> I didn't know how to react like because like I just never I just I was just like it was like too I was too stunned too stunned to react and um then his like girlfriend wife whatever comes up behind him and like she had been with an earshot so like she would have heard what he said and i like looked to her like help <laughs> like i give her help me eyes like i don't know what to do and um because i was at work like i was not prepared for that type of conversation and um and she just looks at me and goes like gives me this like glazed wide smile nod i was like oh my god <laughs> And I said, I, I said like, uh, 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 and I think that's like the only words that came out of my mouth, that whole interaction. And I finished checking him out and then they left. Like, I don't think I said another actual word. Like, I don't know. None of the other words I said were actually English. I'm pretty sure I just said, uh, 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 <laughs> or nothing until they left. It was so awkward. Yeah, I was probably like 19, 20 at the time of that interaction. And that's the one I remember. But, um, but I know that sort of thing happened. Like, regularly like more than once i just don't remember most of the interactions at this point had that experience i was propositioned by an older woman yeah 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 and me being afraid to get in trouble gave her my number no no you did not but then i canceled on her because i had the flu i told my district manager about being propositioned and he basically brushed it off how the hell is it not an unfair power dynamic under corporate structure where employees aren't protected from bullshit like that well you had a shitty manager my dude you had a shitty manager But like, I am bold and blunt, so I never said yes. I always either said no or I didn't s say anything um, when I was asked those types of questions by customers. So I never, it never went farther. And I don't think I ever told a manager when it happened either. Like to me, they were just like funny stories because they never went anywhere. And at that time also, like, I mean, I understood to say no, but like I understood it on a level of I'm saying no because I don't want to, not on a level of like I'm saying no because I think danger is going to happen. Because <laughs> I was freaking like 19 years old. I didn't know. I didn't know there was potential danger. I just know I don't want to. So I say no. <laughs> this woman literally, literally run up on me and it was uncomfortable. Oh, my God. <laughs> I believe you, though. People were bold. People were bold at the Blockbuster. And they're probably bolder at the movie gallery since you had like the x-rated section oh hey someone's got him let's help him kill him oh he's almost dead lit okay oh man there's two two ekinyakis okay well let's summon our own ekinyaki Goodbye, Mr. Lion. Got him. All right. Um, turn in nugget slugs. It's back up here. Back at Winky. Mm, I love Lemoncello LaCroix. It is the best. All 
All right, I have a lot to turn in at this point. Okay, it's gonna have us go get harpy rings next. I don't like fucking with the harpies, as y'all know. They stand too close together. They don't know how to social distance. Bad for me, bad for them. And I think you have to kill, get like slayers and stuff for the rings. And slayers tend to have like dangerous abilities. So I'll have to be careful. So I did end up, because we were close to 20, I did end up purchasing this the Rested XP Survival Guide. It's free up to level this level 20. But once you get to level 20, like they want you to pay for it. And um, and so I did do that, because I've been finding it very helpful and very useful for playing with you guys on stream. So like, I did do that. I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of interesting, because I had thought that you were not supposed to make any money off of mods to the game, but Whereas at XP, like, the people seem to be involved with Blizzard and stuff. Hey, so, like, it seems like they've got some kind of special permission. I don't really know how that works, but it does seem to be a thing. Alright, did we accept real? Yeah. Yeah, real greasy crop. Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, let's go kill some harpies. Different incident, guy wants 310 to Yuma. I tell him it's not part of the rebate deal of buy four, get them at a reduced price. He says, whatever, I just want it. Then he goes and gets three other movies and asks why he's not getting 310 at a reduced price. Oh my God. He gives me a false advertising. Yeah, because I'm the CEO of the store dipshit. Oh my God, that would happen all the time at Blockbuster because they would always have, because they would sell a bunch of the DVDs because you know you would get a ton in of the hot new movie to rent out. And then within like a month or so, you wouldn't need to have 50 copies of 310 to Yuma. You'd need to have like three in stock or whatever, right? So they'd sell a bunch of them and they would have these like um, buy two, get one free deals and all these various deals or whatever. And people would just like make up the craziest shit of what they believe the sign said um, and like insist on getting these deals that I'm like, I can't, there's no way for me to give you the deal that you want. Like it's ridiculous. How many times I want to call some of these people stupid? Yeah. The amount of times that like clearly very educated, intelligent people would get mad at me because they misread something was absolutely fucking insane. Like absolutely fucking insane. Okay, can I do this scroll now? Why can I not do this scroll? I don't have to target myself, do I? I don't understand. I don't understand why that scroll is not applying. Whatever. It's a tiny stamina bonus, but like every little bit helps. And like catch me not caring in regards to like all of those things about people crying that they didn't get their deals that they thought they deserved or whatever. Because I knew the company was dying because of things that were going on with Netflix and how Blockbuster was trying to launch their Blockbuster online and like things were not going well but in regards to that. So like it was known that the company was dying and that the that the um, CEOs are making silly decisions. So like, you know, it's like, don't shoot the messenger. I didn't come up with these rules and repates, right? Um, I don't run shit. I just lowly employ at 625 an hour. You really think I'm that invested in this dead end job? People really did think you were that invested. They really, really did. Like people were crazy. I mean, I assume they still are, but like I buy so much online now that I wouldn't know. I'm sure people still get like ridiculous irate about silly things though. But I don't interact in that way usually with people. So wouldn't know. Okay. Yep. We got to kill slayers. All right. They stand too close together. Like, look at that. Like what Nikki said the other day, like COVID would just rip through these people. It would come back here. 
There we go. Get away from your friends. Fight you by yourself. Got it. Now give me your ring. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. I don't see people can get like that. The kind of person who will just get the wrong order entirely and won't gripe unless it came under the value that I paid for it. <laughs> well, I will gripe sometimes. Not in a mean way, but in a like, hey, can you please fix it way. Just because like, well, really with food, because I feel like food prices have gotten ridiculous. Like if you order something now, like the price that you're paying is insane. Like food is so expensive. Um, and I know that's like not the fault necessarily of um, the people running restaurants and things like that. Like they're subject to the ridiculousness of this economy the way that the rest of us are. And they're just trying to like make their slim, tiny margin of profit. But like it's insane how much like just fast food costs or like anything, like anything. It's crazy. The fact that I don't like coming off as complaining because their jobs are hard enough. Yeah, most of them, their jobs are super difficult. So I hear that. But I will definitely like if an order is wrong and um, and it act and like it bothers me, then I will actually say ask if they can redo it. Sometimes I won't because sometimes I don't care or sometimes I know that them redoing it will take longer than I care to wait. So I'll just deal. But a lot of times I will say something not because I want a refund. I just want to get the right order, you know. Hey, hey, Witchwing Slayer, ask me to marry you. Dang it. Thought that would work. Come back. All right, we're doing we're doing pretty good with these single pulls. I feel like the harpies are very annoying to get to single pull. You be very careful particular. Oh, uh, Hillsbrad Foothills. Oh, no. Oh, the jailer in Hillsbrad got him. Oh, that sucks. That area is annoying if you get stuck in there to get back out of. All right. Come here, Slayer. Ooh, got another ring. I think also like when you've worked in customer service, also at least this kind of drives me crazy sometimes. And like, I know what they're supposed to be doing instead of what they're actually doing. Um, that does like drive me crazy, especially when I know like if they did the the right thing as opposed to whatever it is they're actually doing, um, that their job would be easier. But they're like resisting for like one reason or another, you know. There's one time I got irated a customer service representative is when I was buying a new grill and she took the grate out of it and tried to charge me for the grate. What the fuck? Thinking that apparently grills don't come with their own grates. Had the manager over there telling her that she was right. And then the guy ran the department, asked them both. You do realize for grills to work, they have to have a grate, right? At that point, I just left and went to Causeway Ace. What the fuck? What? Oh, what? So there was two people in that store, the manager and the, and the, um, individual contributor both thinking that you buy the grate on a grill separately i am so confused what what they just made that up they just they just said i, I want to be annoying today what that doesn't make any sense yeah i don't i don't know if i'd be like calm and chill for that even if i really wanted to be i don't yeah how do you become a lowe's at manager a manager at lowe's and not know that i don't know I'm very confused. Nepotism? 
maybe some kind of like tiny low level lowest nepotism very strange very very strange okay bitch you die too i didn't notice you stealthed there that's my bad if i would have noticed you i wouldn't fought your sister right in front of you but now you have to die too you didn't have to but you do now We gotta be careful. The elite is over here somewhere. Probably. So you have to be careful not to encounter them. But she paths from back there along up this way. The manager tried to get me to buy the grill and get the grate free of charge. What? That is so confusing, my dude. Yeah, I can understand why you would be irate. I think I, I, I see like when situations are that ridiculous, I almost like go into a mode where like I'm not mad anymore. I'm just so shocked that um, that I can't process like what's going on, you know, <laughs> or it's like I can't even be mad because this is so ridiculous. And I felt bad for even, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, I've, I've never, I, yeah, what? I can't even think of something as ridiculous as that that I've encountered. I'm sure I have, but I can't think of one that sticks out in my mind. Come here, girl. Come here, little pretty girl. Harpy. Okay, that camp's really not respawned yet, so let me get this one. Come here, girly. I will say GameStop took the last reason for me not to go any there. I used to buy the $5 in coupons a month on Steam Xbox gift cards and made it to where you can't do that anymore. What? Why can't, why can't you do that anymore? I haven't been in a GameStop in four fucking ever. So I had no idea. But why, why not? Like, that's a pro strat. Why are they trying to hate on the gamers? Although, it does, isn't GameStop, like, a whole thing now where it's not really even about selling games? Like, it's about selling, like, accessories and Funko Pops and stuff? I guess because most of it goes to Steam Xbox rather than to them. Yeah, but, like, whatever. That's dumb. Yeah, I haven't been in a GameStop in forever either. Again, I just, like, buy it, like, most of the stuff, I just buy it online. You know, I don't really go to stores anymore. I've even gotten to where, like, I didn't used to do this with clothes, but I even do it with clothes now. Like, if I get something that doesn't fit, I just ship it back um, rather than go to a store. Like, that is less energy for me than actually going to the store, which, like, blows my mind, but it's true. Shouldn't matter because I was paying my yearly sub. Exactly. Like, they know that sometimes they're going to lose out on that $5 thing. So, what? Also, you know, like, for some... It's a gain because they don't even utilize that perk. So it just doesn't make sense to me why they would ban you from doing that. Like as if GameStop needs five more dollars. They have plenty. It's just greed. It's just greed. Ridiculousness. It's too far away. gonna see if i can handle some food i believe in you lunar i believe in you oh got enough rings okay um let's get up here and let's hearth they're basically saying i know you've already given us your money but now we need to fuck you over even more right like they're not happy unless they have all the money like having a lot of money is not enough they have to have all the money insane 
<clears throat> okay, oh, I do need to probably sell my junk. Looking for something special? All right. Sell that thing that I can't seem to use. Okay. We shall meet again. All right, let's turn in these quests. What's up, what Gazrog? Got your raptor heads strength. finally. Sug Sug, for the Horde, go forth to victory. Hey, Harpy Man, I did the other Harpy quest. What's up? Strength. Ah, there's, there it is. We gotta go back and do the Elite quest at some point. Whee! Glory to the Horde. Go with God. Alright, now we gotta go to Ratchet and turn in some of those Ratchet quests. Lotar! Go with All right, we'll do stolen silver after this, it looks like. Makes sense. Oh, stolen booty, then stolen silver. What's up, Ratchet? my first aid. Oh, I still need to make a lot of wool bandages. Let's actually... Okay. What's up? Let's put the linen away. Be good. And let's make some band-aids. Dagger better than what I've got. No. Looks like it's the same. Yeah, War Knife of Strength versus Stamina. Oh, I should have. I was just. I just realized I sold my greens instead of disenchanting them. Dumb. So then I can sell the linen bandages because I can use the wool band aids instead when I need them better. So I can't learn the next first aid thing until 150. Silk bandages is 150, I think. No, heavy woolen bandages is before that, like 115. All right, well, we have a stack hey, now. Hey, how you doing? So let's put these in the bank. Have a good one. Let's disenchant you. <gasps> Lo I mean, not Lunar. Oh my god. I thought, because I saw the lurk. I saw the lurk. Koneko, hello. Thank you so much for coming to hang out and lurk. I got a trip soon, guys. Sorry to get packing. Oh, I hope you have fun on your trip. Why isn't this disenchanting? This is the same thing how I couldn't use my, um, one thing before. Hang on. I wonder if I'm getting a Bagnon error and it's just not telling me. Let's turn Bagnon on and back off. 
Are those any good? What are you drinking? I've seen them from time to time, but I haven't tried them. So yes, I love LaCroix. I love LaCroix. They're so good. Oh my gosh, what's the, is it Shift B? Yeah, Shift B opens everything. Okay. Back, pack, back, pack. Oh, I can't move it. I can't move it. I like to move it, move it. Um. Okay, yeah, it was Bagnon fucking it up. All right, let's turn Bagnon back on. I feel like Bagnon just, just dies sometimes randomly. It's so weird. Time is money, friend. Okay. Keep it real. All right, back on track. Let's go turn stuff in. Koneko, I hope you're having a lovely Thursday. Yo. And that packing is easy for you. 24 troll shaman drowned. Jeez. Have a good one. What's up? Keep it real. Alright, except raptor one. horns and deep moss spider eggs. Okay, so that's these two. What's up? Keep it real! Yo! Hurry back! Keep it real! Okay, that's over in Stone <laughs> Talon. Alright. Yo! Let's buy this back now that we fixed Bagnon. Can I buy back those some greens too that I accidentally sold? When I wasn't thinking. Be good. Like this girl's an enchanter. She should not be selling her greens. Okay, much better, much better. Keep it real. Okay, we got to go back to the pirate area and get the stolen booty. My quest log's almost full. I do think I accepted some things that the guy didn't tell me to accept, but that's okay. I should still be okay. Because I don't think this thing, the guide, ever fills up your quest log, as far as I can tell. Oh, I got on a flight path. So Blueberry's not with me. Come here, Belknack. Well, this place don't like you, but I like you. You help me out so much. Gosh, we must be on like a really high layer or something. I feel like I just have not seen a whole lot of people. And I feel like normally when I come down here, like all these guys are dead. Oh, well, there's somebody. Right after I said that, there's somebody. Hello, Kaijus. What's up?
Okay, yeah. All right, we come up here and get these, and then we will be right next to where the stolen silver is. The bear. Thanks for clearing out this camp for me, Mr. Bear. Man tequilas. Thank you. Is this camp cleared out too? It looks like it is. Yep. All right, got them both. Yeah. We're just gonna let him wail on us and walk by. He's level 15, it's fine. We don't need to kill these guys. Right, and the raptor camp is right around this corner, I think. Right up in there. And it is kind of densely packed, so I'll have to be a little bit careful. Ornery plane strider. Them things fuck people up. They just come out of nowhere and destroy people. So we're going to carefully walk around them. Here's the raptor camp. What is, oh, that's a gnome. Stinky alliance. What are you doing in our raptor camp? Oh, I guess they can do ratchet quests, so I bet he can do stolen silver. I forgot about that. Alliance can do the, the ratchet quests if they want to. <laughs> I guess. Well, I guess we'll we'll both clear to the silver. I can help out Alliance sometimes, I suppose. Oh, are they gone? Oh, or maybe they're sitting in the grass? I don't know. Anyways, the silver is like way back here. Oh, no, there they are. They were just so, so short they were hiding from me. That spell isn't ready yet. Oh, a more powerful spell is already active. Oh. I, oh, I knew that other one was going to come on. Right, the silver is right back here. Give us our silver back, raptors. Thieves.
Well, those things didn't drop any horns. Should they have? Yeah. Alright, well, let's get you. I have enough feathers for the nests. So that'll be good when we do that. Oh, there's a horn. Plane striders aren't or ornery for the uh, for the raptors. They don't seem to care about them. Okay, dried seeds should be here. Yes. more horns oh we were talking about LaCroix before I totally forgot so yeah limoncello is the one that I'm drinking today but I also really really like the key lime and the guava LaCroix those are the best ones I really like them some people like to say they don't have enough flavor but um they're wrong <laughs> it's I like LaCroix I think they have plenty of flavor As for sparkling drinks, I like those sparkling ice drinks. Yes. Did you, have you, did you ever drink um, Clearly Canadian back when that was like the popular sparkling water, the flavored water? I also tried Liquid Death, but those are a little overrated. I haven't drank Clearly Canadian, but I've drank Clear American. I love those. I've never heard of Clear American. Is that like literally a competitor to Clearly Canadian? I had no idea that that existed. And those raptors hit kind of hard. Those are the ones at Walmart in the water section. They're a dollar a piece or something. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's Walmart brand, clearly Canadian. Got it. I've not tried those. But actually getting to the Walmart as far as for groceries goes from where I am right now is actually kind of inconvenient. So I haven't shopped at a Walmart in, in a, a little over, like over a year. No, probably more like... The last time I probably shopped in a Walmart for groceries was like pre-pandemic. So it's just not convenient to get to from where I am now. There's like so many other places that you would check before ever going to Walmart.
But yeah, I like LaCroix. Those three flavors are my favorite. All right, time to get Virag. I think I saw him pathing around a minute ago. He has two guards with him, so we gotta be careful. Give me your bracers. The halo effect? Oh, at least they did message me. Is recruiting blah blah join us for fun stay for the pie? It's gonna be another mass invite guild. Um, if I join, will you mail me silk bags? I still have woolen ones. I gotta be honest, I don't really understand mass invite kilts. <laughs> oh, wait, is Virag the one that's up here? He wanders the barrens and will be difficult to find. Sent our command tent, yes. Yeah, yeah, so you gotta kill others. And he'll spawn up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So let's kill let's kill some centaurs. Let's kill some centaurs. I don't think they're going to message me back. <laughs> Somehow I don't think they're going to message me back. They're going to be like, no. <laughs> no. I guess the point of a mass invite guild is just to have like another little chat room, you know? I guess that's really the point. Wait, is that him? Nope. Okay. Got nervous for a second that someone had pulled him. Oh, there he is, Virag. Yes, oh my God, thank you. I thought you were about to get him without inviting me and I was about to be so annoyed, but you're good, you're good. I'm ready. Sweet. All right. We're still supposed to get bracers, so I guess we're going to stay here and get that. I remember chat rooms on, oh man. If you know what ASL stands for, I hope your back problems aren't that bad, mood. <laughs> oh my god. True, 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 true. True, true, true. Remember when. Remember when. Yeah, I was uh, pretty frequent in like the AM chat rooms and the Yahoo chat rooms back in the day. Back in the day. That's where I learned about RPing. In them chat rooms. And that's what we did. I guess I should have farmed more bracers before when I was killing centaurs, but I oh, didn't want to bother. But now it's bracer time. That's where I got my start too. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I think when you if you were that age, the only kind of RP that existed was like in those chat rooms or like um forums. But forums were not nearly as accessible 
to a teenager at that time. It was almost like you graduated to forums later. This Kodo just wandering through our fight like it's no big deal. I don't mind. Nothing bothers me. I'm a gigantic Kodo. Woo, second bracer. Oh, elemental slave got someone in Altrac. That sucks. The higher we get, the less I, I have the ding pop up. <sighs> Since I have it set to only do that if someone higher level than me dies. Come here, Stormer. I think it's funny how their spell, their storm spell, doesn't die when they die. It keeps going past their death. I'm out of range. Quick question, do we like spicy jokes? Here, spicy jokes are fine. So long as they're not like, you know, any kind of um, ism or ist type of spicy, it's all good. This is 18 plus. Um, I marked my chat 18 plus on purpose because like, I'm not interested in like controlling people in that way. So and ki so kids should not be here. Does that help? Does that clarify what I'm, what I'm saying? Like what kind of spicy is okay and what kind of spicy is not okay? I just found that if you carve a pumpkin in September, it's called premature ejaco lantern. Wow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah, I am not out here trying to be family friendly. I'm not interested in censoring myself and um, and so if I want to be like that when I want to, then I'm going to do it, you know? And I'm not going to like pretend that I'm not an adult just because it's the internet. No shade to anyone who wants that to be their thing, though. It's just not for me. pretty much in the camp of don't punch down when you're telling jokes. Yes. Yeah, 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 exactly. So long as your jokes are not punching down, I'm not going to have a problem with them. I'm going to, I'm not going to be offended or anything like that. But yeah, sometimes punching down jokes, I, I'm like, mm, no, <laughs> not interested in that. 
I'm not interested in things that could be like turned into meanness in really like obvious and easy ways. All right, halfway there on the bracers. Well, a little less than half. Yeah, I should have definitely killed more centaurs in the other when we did the other centaur area yesterday. Don't punch down, don't make anyone uncomfortable with sexual jokes targeting targeting the community. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like sexual jokes in a general sense are totally fine. Like that shit's funny. And if there are any kids watching, just know like this is not for you. I'm sorry your parent left you alone on the internet. They shouldn't do that. Pull him back. Shit. Too many, too many, too many. I need a target. That was scary. That's still recharging. Back when I modded for people used to say if anyone posts porn here in Discord you'll be banned and depending on how good the porn was probably sent a friend request. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean there are appropriate places for that, you know what I mean? There are appropriate places for that. Oh, I don't have a health stone anymore. I didn't think I don't think I summoned one the beginning of stream today. Let's fix that. I've gotten quite a few good laughs out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, porn goes in the place where, where porn should go, not just randomly posted. Because <laughs> you don't know, someone could be browsing at work or something like that, and now, like, you've gotten them in trouble. About to loop the whole way around this place. Back where we started. What's that pack? Rock Lance. Is he a rare? Oh no, he's an elite. Holy shit. Yeah, we're gonna steer clear of that mess. No, thank you. I would not like to die. Very much. Yet. 
Is that elite marked? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Elite slow patrol. Okay. Two more, two more, two more. We can leave this cursed area. Oh my gosh, he's a very slow patrol. It's right over there. Blood charger. This way. It's too far away. Yeah, him. All right, one more, one more. I guess he just really wanted to die too. I was trying to not mess with you, friend. I already killed plenty of your kind. I just need one more. I just need one more. One more bracer. One more bracer. Dodge the elite. Don't want to fuck with you. Let's go over to this camp. Should be a few spawns in this camp. And at least one of them will have a bracer. we go got him okay next is the nests which is okay it's down this way just go around this mountain and go down this way i'm sitting here reminiscing about the 90s after we got done talking about stuff from back then yeah 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 i mean that's pretty much when i grew up so like i i was basically in school um, like teenager in the um, 90s and 2000s, like late 90s, early 2000s. Which is why you'll find a lot of that type of stuff on on my channel. Like the first kind of set of like really serious podcasts that me and Landon did for those episodes was going through and rereading the Harry Potter series. And like dissecting it and kind of like reanalyzing it with the lens of like we're adults now um you know our perception of jk rowling is completely different she herself is completely different um and uh and kind of like the zeitgeist around that and, and just went through each of the books um to talk about them and then we went through the um fantastic beast movies as well which was torturous <laughs> but we did it <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, like stuff from that time period. That's why like I a lot of that the stuff that I post 
is uh, is from around there. It's a really important time to me. Slain by what in Kalimdor? When it doesn't tell me, it's sad. Alright, here's the nests. We gotta place the feathers on the nests. Looks like someone already came through here and killed them, though. Oh, we still need one more raptor horn. I can't use that item yet. It's not ready yet. Oh my god, get ready. It's still recharging. Come on, recharge. There we go. We gotta go get Mancrick's rife. He's like right over there. Or she's like right over there. Oh, and I need raptor horns now, too. I think what helped me cope with, cope with rolling was going and looking for other authors. Yeah, it sounds a little like piling on when I say that I found better stuff than what she's written. It probably looks like I'm just bitter about her as a person, but truthfully, since I delve more into Tolkien and discovered Terry Pratchett, I haven't really missed HP mood. Yeah, that's uh, that's all like super valid. Terry Pratchett's great. I want to read more of him. You know, I really haven't delved too much into Terry Pratchett, but like, I know from like, from some of the things that I do know that I would like it. And like, my husband's read all of it. And like, he knows that it's good. Reading's really hard for me, though. I have to do um, audiobooks uh, instead of um, like reading, reading. And so it's kind of challenging for me. So I do the audiobooks on Audible. Um, for the most part. Reading text in something as long form as a novel is just like, is really difficult for me. Um, so that's what I do for those. Cause they're just too much. It's too much to like read the page. I've also been reading some Hellboy lately. I've never grown around to reading the omnibus collection that I bought. Oh, Hellboy's good. Come on, drop your horns. There we go. <clears throat> hey, it's Mancrick's wife. Where is Mancrick's wife? The forever question. on the fact that I've had major restructuring of my social life lately, which meant removing some toxicity. I've had more quality time now for my mind. Is it so cloudy from stress? I feel like um, that's happened to a lot of people, like reorganizing their lives. Um, sometimes not uh, by choice, but also somewhat by choice uh, due to the pandemic. Like things have just changed. You know, like I used to travel a lot and go on cruises and like I loved it, you know, it was like so much fun to just get on the boat and like meet new people and see new things and hang out and chill. And after the pandemic, I just don't 
feel that way. I'm just not interested in travel the way that I used to be. It doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel right. Long story short, I got tired of being the only one to water the garden. If you get my meaning, I totally get your meaning. I totally get your meaning. I think the pandemic made a lot of people have to reevaluate that stuff and figure out if like they were actually interested or if they had the capacity to do those sorts of things anymore. That's still recharging. I think sometimes there is benefits to being the only one to water the garden, but you got to consider it carefully because there isn't always. There isn't always. And no one wants to be taken advantage of. I only need one lizard horn. Why aren't y'all dropping it? I evaluated everything and when I realized that I'd given more spoons and energy, even when I didn't have it for the friendship, but wasn't getting that back, I needed a change. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's like that. But I don't think any relationship is like perfectly even. Um, but I do think there needs to be like some give and take and some evenness over a, a period of time, you know? So sometimes you have to just evaluate if that's happening or not happening or if it's ever going to happen. Like if they're, cause like there can be where you provide all the little things and then they only provide like larger things every once in a while, like that can be okay as well. Um, but Sometimes you have to realize like they're never they're never going to do anything. Um, and then it's kind of like, well, what's the point of this? Is this like fulfilling me in a way that I'm interested in spending my energy on? Oh, hey, level 21. Nice. Caught that from a discovery. I'm discovering Bramble Scar. Crazy. Oh my god, I really want this drop before we go to Taraho. It won't be perfectly even, but constantly getting left on red when I need someone to talk to or need support. And then jump when they needed something. I mean, I still love them, but I can't do it on my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Lunar, welcome back. How was your lunch? I have it right now. Oh, good. What'd you make? I'm eating a sandwich with chips. Well, I hope it, it settles good and everything's fine. I have I have high hopes. Is this is this what I think it is? Yeah, that's Warlock Quest. Can I help you? Yep, yep, yep. For the orb and the staff. Yep, 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 yep. Ain't nothing wrong with a good sandwich and chips, right? Oh, a chip, which is so good. Oh my god. A ch chips on a sandwich. Also, actually, the brand chip, which the ice cream with the cookies. Oh my god, both so good. So, 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 so good. There we go. Got the horn. Got the horn. Hell yeah. Okay. I think we've got a massive turn in spree now. Chip witches are the bomb for real. For real, for real, for real. I love chip witches. I have some in the um, freezer right now. <laughs> I have a few. They're one of my favorite like ice cream sandwich things. I also like butter piece of bread and dollop of spaghetti on it. It also works with hamburger helper, true. True. Bread with hamburger helper, that's the meal. That's the meal.
inn is in here. I was trying to go to the main building, but no, this is the inn. How? Oh. Okay, let's go get the flight path. And Tribes at War is from... Yeah, from this guy, right? Can't target him properly. It's a stupid cage. But it's this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I already have the flight path. That's right. Okay, let's fly to Crossroads and turn in all our shit. Go in. I know we're over time, by the way, Lunar. I think after we do this whole big turn-in spree, I am going to end stream for today instead of going four hours. Like, I think this is good for today. I'm chill. Um, I saw you put the Lavender ha lavender Haze in the BRB screen. Do you want me to play it for you before I actually end stream? Like, we'll end on that. Or do you want me to... Um, do you want to play it, like, another day? Because I think I'll probably stream some tomorrow, too. What do you think? We can do it tomorrow? Okay. It'll be at the top of the queue tomorrow, then. But I'll be at work. Oh, that's true. You will be at work. Well, we'll play it in your honor. We'll think of you while it plays. Okay, yes. All right, let's turn in all this shit. We got so many completed quests. Like, look at this. This is insane. Strength and honor. No. Double. But I should get off at 2.45 my time tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay. You get off early then on Fridays. I did not realize that. But I guess that kind of makes sense. Found your wife. Sorry for the news. The winds guide you. Ancestors watch over you. Okay, then it says turn in centaur bracers, which is way back over here. Oh, then it has this travel to Stone Talon. But what about all of these ones in Ratchet? No way, no way, no way. We're not going to follow the guide. I'm going to, exactly, I'm going to go. We're going to fly to Ratchet and turn in those and then fly back to Crossroads. They had a cats to wolf quest, like in the town, like you can see cats in the town or there's like wild cat packs, like the dog packs. They can be found in downtown and the ghost town. I knew it. I knew they would be in town. Of course. I think they fit having cats in the town. The canines can't reach the kitties. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's cute though. I love that. Okay, I know this guide is about speed, so that's probably why, like, there's probably a reason you come back to Ratchet and you turn all this stuff in, but, like, no, 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 no. We turn it all in now. Welcome to Ratchet. Hope you're looking for work. Is that better gloves? Uh, not really. Yeah, no, not really. I'm so excited we might have to play a new save and find all the kitties. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Can you collect them? Can you, like, add them to, to your group? And, like, get them to join your pack and have a, a wolf kitty pack? What's up? That would be so cool. Hurry back! Keep it real! <laughs> Glad I could help! I wish. 
<laughs> Could be a wolf leading around a bunch of kitties. I think that would be very funny. Mukra, farewell. Dabu. All right. Let's go. Let's go log out in the inn. This is at Camp Taraho. What? Oh, west of the crossroads. This is an Orgrimmar. Okay. All right. I'm gonna hang out with our goblin friend. Okay. Next time, probably tomorrow. If I'm up to streaming tomorrow, we'll stream tomorrow. Next time, we will continue. And um, and yeah, then we'll go turn in uh, centaur bracers and head over to do some stone talent quests. All right. If you're watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. You know what? If you got all the way to the end, you should actually come and follow me on Twitch. And so you can catch the live sometimes. But if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Just um, like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.